General Guidelines for Completing the On the Move Truck Rental Agreement. Before beginning the process of completing the truck rental agreement, be sure that the renter can provide proof of insurance and a copy of their driver's license stating that they're over 21 years of age. After confirming the renter's driver's license and proof of insurance, have them continue on to the customer information section where you'll take their name, address, contact phone number, date of birth, and recopy their driver's license number. Moving on to the next section, be sure that when the truck is dispatched, it has a full tank of fuel, it is clean, and based on availability, includes a dozen furniture pads and a hand truck. Whether you're renting the truck out by the hour, day, or week, or comping it out to new customers that move in, it is paramount to keep track of the mileage put onto the truck. Before the truck leaves, be sure to complete the odometer out section, indicating the mileage on the vehicle before the truck leaves, as well as the miles allowed. When the truck returns, complete the odometer in section that will give you the miles driven during the rental and thus gives you the total chargeable miles. The next section, titled Optional Insurance Coverage, details the Comprehensive Collision Damage Waiver indicating that the customer is responsible for all collision damage resulting from insufficient height or width clearances and the first $2,500 of any loss or damage. If the customer would like to buy down their deductible, this is where you offer the comprehensive collision damage waiver. For a daily fee, the self-storage operator can offer a reduction in the deductible with the customer and it's at their discretion to what the new deductible should be. Most companies will charge between $15 and $20 per day for the damage waiver and thus reducing the customer's deductible down to $1,000. Please note, this product is not insurance. It is considered damage waiver, thus the manager does not need an insurance license to be able to offer it. Please make sure to indicate the amount you're charging the customer in the charges section along with, and most importantly, the new deductible amount as this is the new amount that the customer will be responsible for in the event of an accident. If you're not able to make a copy of the renter's insurance card, the section under optional insurance coverage also allows for the name of the renter's insurance carrier, the insurance carrier phone number, along with their policy number. If the customer might have an additional driver with them, please have the additional authorized driver also provide a copy of their driver's license and insurance information, as well as complete the insurance carrier, policy number, and phone number of their insurance provider on the form. On to the last section. Before you're ready to hand the customer the keys, be sure they've read and agree to be bound by the terms and conditions of both sides of the rental agreement. Once they have read and understand the terms and conditions of both sides of the rental agreement, they are ready to sign. The customer signs on the left side under customer signature, and the rental authority signature section will be completed by the renting manager. Now you've completed the truck rental agreement process.